Hello everybody and welcome back to Kukuzun's Heart. Today's recipe is this amazing puff pastry rolled samosas. So first of all to make this puff pastry samosas, rolled samosas, we are gonna need to make our filling. So in a pan we are gonna add around 2 tablespoon of olive oil, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, 1 chopped onions, then we're gonna add garlic paste and chili crushed. One teaspoon of garlic paste and two teaspoon of chili crushed. Add all those in our onions and give a good mix until the onion gets translucent. Now we're gonna add our spices. So we're gonna add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, So we must give a good mix of all this. Once it's incorporated, it's time to add our garam masala. So we're gonna add around one teaspoon of garam masala and some salt per taste. And also we're gonna add some frozen peas, so add the peas per taste. I added around quarter cup of peas and then we must give a good mix. If you're new to the channel, hello, my name is Sarah and welcome to Cook with Zun Sarah. If you like our videos, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you get our new videos updates whenever I post. So we must give a good mix once our peas are this frosted are good so we're gonna add five potatoes we must mash the potatoes add little bit of salt per taste and then add in our mixture then give a good mix of all this until incorporated and then we're gonna add some chat masala around one tablespoon of chat masala and one lemon juice you just squeeze one lemon juice and add it also in a potato filling. Give a good mix, rectify the salt if needed, and then our filling is ready. So let our filling cool down and now we're going to start filling them up so take one puff pastry sheets roll the puff pastry thinner using some flour so it doesn't stick on your counter and then we're going to add our samosa filling so add the filling all over the puff pastry just spread it nicely all over Once our samosa filling is spread all over, we're gonna add also some chopped coriander, fresh chopped coriander, and then it's time to fold our samosa. From the edge, we're gonna roll out the puff pastry very tight here was sticking so i then used the flour to help me roll this just add some flour and it's gonna help uh, help to roll this samosa puff pastry so i roll very tight our samosa pastry is done. We must seal the edge nicely. Take the edge if needed, add a little bit of water on the edge to seal nicely. Then we must put our samosa pastry in a wax paper and freeze this for one hour or more. So when we're gonna cut it, it's not gonna be so soft. 
now it's time to cut our rolls cut around one centimeter or the way you like it and then after cutting our rolls are done I freeze some of them and some of them I'm gonna bake them so add in your baking tray brush with some egg and bake until golden brown on 180 degrees Celsius So now it's gonna go into the oven now and we must wait until golden brown once it's golden brown just take it out from the oven and then our roll samosa are done they are ready now we can serve them with some ketchup and enjoy this amazing samosa puff pastry something different something good for our ramadan thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video